good morning, distinguished guests on the dais and off the dais. It is my privilege to have my few thoughts, rather to share my thought, few thoughts with you uh, on this uh, August occasion. Uh, as uh, many speakers said in the morning, water is very precious. Water cannot be manufactured, right? And uh, invariably, water gets contaminated due to the household waste, industrial waste, many reasons. What, what are we doing? What are we doing to treat this water? What are we doing to recycle this water? And what is our responsibility to discharge this water in a manner which environment accepts? And uh, when you see the present conditions, or the present uh, situations, rather the practical things which are going on, we feel very sad. Many industries, and many municipal corporations discharge this wastewater without proper treatment, which again raises the water crisis. So we feel the water recycling is the most predominant matter which should be looked at, because there is only way how you can reuse the water do not contaminate the existing water resources, and we can have the water sustainability, and thus we can have the peace of mind for the future generations. So I have very few slides how the water can be uh, reused, and we have some uh, innovative technology. I just uh, stress upon the some three, four slides, so how the water can be uh, reused, uh, recycled through our innovative technologies. This is one of the major award we received for the uh, our environment conscious from the in government of Indonesia uh, in the Indonesian summit. So as uh, we are aware, there uh, there are basically few uh, technologies available for the wastewater treatment, like. Uh, I told this sludge process, CSTR, and uh, USB, which are uh, used in the day-to-day -day process. But what I'm going to highlight today is a JetCT, which is a very innovative technology, which treats the very difficult effluent, like the uh, chemical factory wastewater, pharmaceutical factory wastewater, and the agrochemical, agrochemical factory wastewaters. The challenges in uh, treating this type of wastewater is the inorganic content in the wastewater. The organic content, very easy. We can degrade it biologically, but the process of activated sludge or the uh, CSTR or the USB or some other method. Basically, this process acts on the advanced oxidation solutions the basically, we, uh, we generate the OH radicals in the system. The OH radicals exist naturally in the atmosphere. It is very harmless to the human body. And it is capable of sterilizing and disinfecting contaminants in wastewater. It is an excellent oxidizing agent. By reacting with any organic materials, it can kill various viruses and bacteria. It also decomposes all heavy metals agrochemicals and chemical compounds in the wastewater. This is a little uh, explanation of the process, how it uh, acts on the, uh, the difficult wastewaters, like uh, which contain inorganic waste content. So the, basically, the generation of nano-micro bubbles takes place, which gets collided with the contaminants in the wastewater, and they burst in between the surface of the water. That is how they can collide with the waste in the present in the wastewater. That brings it to the surface of the water, which makes it very 
easy to clean the weight transfer. The advantages of the uh, OH radical system, OHR has a germicidal power about 3,600 times of the chlorine, 2,000 times of the ozone, and 180 times of the ultraviolet rays. It reacts to any organic metals to sterilize and disassemble, disassemble them. So this is one of the biggest advantage using the waste radical system, which is no harm to the human body, and it has the power of 3,600 times the chlorine on the uh, disinfection of the water. Which are the natural metal that is harmless to the human body, decomposes to get rid of all heavy metal, agricultural chemicals, and chemical compounds. Other than processing qualities of germicide and disinfectant, it also removes odor from the wastewater, serving to improve overall water quality. It also increases the quantities of the dissolved oxygen. This is another one of the biggest advantages using the uh, OH radical system. It also increases the DO of the uh, uh, water. Since it does not use filter or chemicals, maintenance cost is almost zero. Maintenance cost almost zero. Which is where it can be used, the slaughter wastewater, stock breeding wastewater, contaminated ponds, food, uh, food industry wastewater, dying wastewater, chemical industry wastewater. You can see the difference in the uh, water. You can see the uh, right hand figure. Sorry. Yeah, the dying wastewater the, the most difficult wastewater to treat the chemical industry and the dying textile wastewater is the waste is the wastewater one of the toughest wastewater to treat so this technology has been successfully uh, implemented on the dying industry wastewater and the water the outlet water is as much as clear which you can see through the uh, water What you have in the ES ECR system, the second one is the ECR, electro contaminant removal system. This basically works on the principle of electro uh, contamination removal. That is based on the scientific limits of involving responses of water contaminants to strong electric fields and electrically induced oxidation and reduction reactions. Sorry, sorry for the, some technical interruption. So this is how the uh, water uh, treated. You can see the difference in the water on the right hand, uh, on the left hand last photo. The dying water, uh, as I said, dying wastewater is the most difficult water to treat and the OHR system can effectively treat the wastewater to the level of what you, is, what you can see in the last uh, beaker. This is a OHR system. This is another technology called uh, ECR, which comes under uh, ZCT, Zero Chemical Treatment. You can see the, the difference in the uh, wastewater treatment, the after treatment, before treatment, and after treatment. The water almost clear to the uh, uh, eyes. And the biggest advantage of the, uh, e these ZCT technologies is the BOD removal is 90%, uh, COD is 90%, heavy metals is uh, more than 90%, color removal is more than 90%, TSS removal is more than 90%, total faucet the TP is more than 90%, island grace more than 90 This is a, such a wonderful technology to adopt. You can see what are the heavy metals you can, it can treat. Almost all the metals it can remove to the uh, efficiency of 
almost 98 to 99%. This is one of the best technology. OHR applications in the existing effluent treatment, where we can apply this treatment to remove the existing chlorination plants. Absolutely, we can remove all the existing chlorination plants with uh, just replacing with the OHR and uh, ECR system, which does not incur any your uh, operation cost and give the excellent removal efficiencies. I just throw one of the uh, our technology which have been proved in the one of the uh, agrochemical major industry that is a UPL. So yesterday they received an order, uh, United Phosphorus Limited. So this uh, uh, technology has been adopted in Colombia in one of their factory. You can see the COD 3,500, three BOD is 100, and uh, TDS is 70,000. Such a difficult employment to treat. So we applied our ZCT and uh, finite day charges. We can, you can see the COD is less than 250. You can see the difference in the uh, uh, effluent before treatment and after treatment. This is a, such a wonderful technology. This is one of the technology terms. I can share you later. This is how the uh, plant looks after the implementation of the plant. Yeah, this is the one that just uh, last slide almost. So uh, what are the advantages? Uh, how ZC can be justified with the chemical treatment and the biological treatment? The space requirement you can see very small. In case of biological uh, treatment, you require large retention time and you have to waste uh, maybe around uh, three, four, five, ten acres, uh, hectares of land. The retention time in jet city is instantaneous. Instantaneous. The water comes in in a chamber and goes out at just cleaned. And in case of biological treatment, you have to wait for 48 to uh, maybe around 60 hours. Ec effective on TDS. The biggest advantage I can see is jet city has no effect on the TDS. Incoming in TDS will have the same amount of TDS in the outlet. And the chemical treatment, in case of chemical treatment, you see, inherently it increases the TDS in the water. And biological treatment cannot have, cannot have any effect on the TDS. Effect on the COD, very effective. Effect on BOD is very effective. Effect on heavy metals, you can see this is the most distinguished quality of the, this uh, JCT technology. It is a very effect on the heavy metals removal, whereas biological treatment cannot remove any heavy metals and uh, chemical treatment has very, very little impact on the uh, heavy metal uh, removal. Effect on the sludge, this is another adv advantage. It does not increase the sludge quantity, whereas the chemical treatment increases the sludge quantity, and the biological treatment uh, will have multiple times of uh, the sludge generated in the jet city. The setup time, you can see, just within four to six hours, you can set up the plant, whereas for the biological treatment, you have to wait around 20 to 30 days. Removal rates of the oil and grease, phenol, so you can see this is a 99%. Others don't have the uh, effect on the dis uh, disinfection properties. As I say, all the present chlorination system can be just removed with the OHR and ECR system. Color removal, this is the uh, another advantage. And the odor removal. With that, I end. Thank you, sir.